We were just talking about the rally in obviously Hong Kong markets, China as well. How much room do you think this rally has to go? Because we've seen this before, and typically this is when the movie ends, 16, 15, 16 percent in. Sure. So we remain constructive in the Hong Kong China markets mm. because we think uh, the valuation definitely is very uh, appealing mm. and very attractive. And speaking of catalysts, there's ample. Uh, leading up to um, the two sessions next week, there's expectations uh, because two sessions is usually when the China's leadership they unveil the annual GDP target. And mm. for this, our house view is four and a half percent growth. And then uh, looking also ahead uh, for this uh, two sessions, there may be some expectations. There are some special packages may be also introduced mm. so hopefully you know uh, packages such as uh, special uh, debts may be targeted into spe uh, specific areas like uh, the infrastructure mm. and hopefully more hopefully on, on a property <laughs> sector oh. okay uh, yeah I'm just wondering how important is it for them to maintain that growth target of five percent what, what does that mean for the market in, in some ways right and if you're thinking four and a half percent for, for next year are you expecting that growth target to be cut no, not necessarily. On the country, we, we are quite firm on the 4.5% uh, because historically China has a very good track record of beating you know, their own uh, guidances and then last year including. So this year we, we are confident about the 45 and let's see what uh, they announce next week uh, at the two sessions. Right. Which brings to mind what the economy needs is what it's not what the market's asking for, right? So 4.5%, again to Yvonne's point, that doesn't seem to scream stimulus is coming and market is looking yeah. for stimulus uh, on the country we believe you know China is quite proactive in uh, announcing and, and, and introducing the stimulus including right. you know the series of uh, triple R cuts okay they also cut interest rates including LPRs a few times right. and then the body language uh, you know is such that there may be more to come right. and then also they uh, they cut the mortgage uh, rates requirements as well as the, yeah, the mortgage uh, requirements for not just the first homes but also mm. the second and third homes so these are you Know, strong signals being sent to the markets. So you may be correct. Uh, the market is not rewarding uh, these stimuluses, uh, but then it takes time for these uh, stimulus to filter through mm. to the uh, real economy. Mm. So that's our take. Okay. Um, is there a preference on, on where you lean to? I, we have UBS's Eva Lee coming up later on. She says, you know, Hong Kong could actually be that place, right? Because for one thing, you can benefit from the Fed easing uh, or the cutting cycle and also that dividend play that you're seeing really play out in, in the Hong Kong market is that is that a good proxy to use for the China around China turnaround story for the Hong Kong China market uh, for sector wise we we are highly constructive on a couple sectors the uh, consumer and also including the tourism mm. uh, so besides those we are also constructive on the dividend yield play mm. which includes the tele telecom sector and also the banks uh, anything you're cautious on? What What are you not going to touch? Well, uh, I wouldn't quite say that, but then uh, oh, those are extreme. The, I'm sorry. Those okay. are the, <laughs> okay, those well, are okay. the areas that yeah. we, we, we like a bit more. Yeah. Okay. Then others. Okay. Uh, anything in property? Uh, property. We, yeah, we 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 await for those uh, packages okay. hopefully to come.